Hey YouTubers, it's that van guy again with another video. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, most of my collection and the stuff that I focus on on my YouTube channel is 164 scale diecast, but I do have a few uh, larger scale pieces. I'm generally not a huge collector of 124th scale, 143rd scale, or 118th scale stuff, although I do have probably a dozen. 118th scale uh, die cast pieces uh, and I do have a few larger scale uh, van die cast so I'm thinking about maybe creating a new playlist on the channel and featuring some of those ones that I um, have and sh showing those off uh, and giving you some info on them in case you're interested in purchasing some uh, on eBay or wherever you could find them uh, but I just recently picked up this Highway 61 uh, 118 scale, scale van. This is uh, uh, 118 scale limited edition Highway 61. Uh, Highway 61 was in business for uh, quite a while. And then I think they either went out of business or they stopped producing die cast models. And then they were, or maybe they got into some financial trouble. I'm not really sure, but I knew, do know that green light uh, collectibles uh, purchased Highway 61 and now they're re-releasing uh, some of the Highway 61 uh, die cast versions. I read some information online that green light bought uh, all the toolings from Highway 61, all the tools. Uh, so they'll be making all of the uh, different die cast and uh, these vans are super super detailed uh, they aren't cheap though they're um, depending on sometimes you could find a deal on them this one has just been released it's fairly new uh, I've seen them on eBay going for around $85 that's about the cheapest that I've seen them but they usually sell for about $100 and uh, I got mine locally from SC Diecast in my local area, and uh, I paid around $100 for it, so it definitely isn't cheap, um, but I didn't have to pay shipping. Uh, I, I was thinking about possibly bidding on a few on eBay that started out at like $75 or $85, but that was an auction, which the price could go up, and there's also shipping, shipping involved, and because it's a pretty big piece, and uh, it's kind of heavy, you know, the shipping could be quite a bit. So that you have to factor that into the total price. So I just decided to go with my local uh, diecast vendor, SC Diecast. Uh, they're awesome. Check them out on Facebook. And uh, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description to SC Diecast. But let's open this up and take a look. Uh, I took a, a small little peek at it. And it seems like it does have uh, some extras or pieces that you could add to it or you know some assembly required type thing I do actually have one of these uh, another one I'll see if I can get the I'll move the van for a second just so you can check out the box and I'll take this see there's a couple looks like there's a ladder for the back and also like a, kind of like a luggage rack trim that goes on top uh, it looks like you have like an instruction manual and that's pretty much it I'll get rid of this big plastic piece here's um, the bottom so you can see it says it says green light on the packaging or on the instruction manual it also says green light here on the box so there's some info barcode um, the website for green light probably order it directly from them if you don't have a vendor in your area that gets these you might be able to order it online straight from green light or one of their vendors so let's get rid of the box and let's take a look at this uh looks like it's got some some tape on it get my little trusty knife here and try to cut this off if i can without scratching the paint or marring it up But these are super detailed 
Uh, they're probably the most detailed die cast I've seen in a while as far as like, uh, you know, custom vans are known for cool interiors and this one is no exception. And we'll just kind of go through all the features um, and I'll try to get close-ups of all the detail. First, let's take a look at the little instruction manual. Let's see, green light collectibles. Do not use excessive force when handling movable parts to avoid paint or product damage. Handle with care. Sliding door. Gently push down, push door out from the inside. Slide door gently to the left. So it's got a sliding door. That's pretty much it. Just there's nothing on the back. Just instructions on how to use the sliding door. So we'll flip it around here. So you can see the sliding door feature. I think probably don't want to be pulling on the uh, all the doors open. And I think you're supposed to push from the inside, it said, and then slide it back. There we go. Okay, so there's a sliding door. Yeah, the doors open. Here's the, I'm not sure, leave a comment down below, guys. What do you think? Uh, I'm not, I kind of like the sportier version, like the, uh, the spoiler look. Uh, wow, it even comes with like a little uh, antenna. It's hard, it was hard to see in the bag. I don't know if you can see that very well, but it comes with a little metal antenna. And that goes in the front, I'm sure. Uh, I thought there was some sort of instruction manual, but I guess not. Unless I'm not finding it. But yeah, it's super detailed. I'm not sure if I'm going to put this ladder on the back or this little luggage rack thing on the top. It does have uh, some holes in the top where, where that would go. And this would just sit on the top like this as some extra trim. Uh, it doesn't really... I don't see any instruction manual as to if you're supposed to glue it or if it's just supposed to sit in those holes. Not really sure. Uh, I kind of undecided. I kind of like the look of it without the the uh, the luggage rack on top myself. But you know, it is the way it came. And if I don't have it on the vans, these parts are probably going to get lost. So if I ever resell it, it might not be worth as much if it doesn't have the original inf original stuff on it and you can see it's got some holes in the back for the for the ladder where those would go and I imagine you could put like a little drop of glue in there to hold it in um, but you can see it's really super detailed uh, all the doors open up probably best to um, I mean the fitment is pretty tight probably best to push it open from the inside than to try to like pull on the handle but I'll just try to give you a shot of you know all the working doors glass and I'll try to zoom in you could take a look at see how it's got like uh, this kind of has like a textured feel to it like almost like real leather it's like a plastic but it kind of almost feels like a fake leather it's got windows inside, it's got louvers on the back, and uh, full detailed interior, doors close, uh, no license plate on there. Let's take a look at the, uh, the inside, I'll see if I can get uh, a shot of the interior so it's got super detailed uh, the went the door swing open quite wide you can see all the little they got a little dust or something on the door there 
got a little speaker grill there. Oh, some door handles. These uh, little quarter glass. Quarter glass actually moves. So that's pretty cool. It's like hinged. It's got side mirrors. Uh, hand, door handles. I think it even has like a little lock knob right here on the door. You can see the little lock knob and all the trim. But yeah, super detailed. I believe these um, these seats swivel, I think, a little bit. And these, these armrests move a little bit. So I'll just show you the interior. Try to get a shot of the interior from different angles. Like I said, super detailed piece. I'll take, try to take a, a peek in the back. It's got a, a sunroof on top. Check out the interior. There's like a bed in the back and a little cabinet. So it's got kind of a cool little uh, like a bed in the back really cool uh, detailed interior there's the front grill it's got a front air dam the, I don't the hood doesn't open on this, this is the only thing that doesn't uh, open it's got some exhaust pipes I'll show the bottom in a minute there's a look at the wheel Chevy van. Really detailed. Got the porthole windows. You can actually uh, see inside through the little port window. It's not just painted, it is an actual window. Open up the door. And we'll take a look inside. Uh, you can see it's got a super detailed. Uh, dash driver compartment it's got stocks on the steering wheels like for turn signals and stuff and uh, it even has like an overhead console with like where a cb would be we'll see if we can look through the back doors and see that and i believe the the wheels turn with the steering wheel so we'll try that out. Lift up the wheels a little bit. I'm pretty sure the steering wheel turns with the front wheels. Yeah, you can see I'm turning, turning the steering wheel. And you can see the wheels move in the front. So, not a whole lot. And let's check out the, uh, it's got uh, a moonroof on it, like a visor over the front windshield. Again, the sunroof. I don't believe the, the sunroof opens. It's got like a little porthole in the roof in the back. And let's, let's take a look at the bottom. Super detailed on the bottom. It's got the... Uh, Cross member, engine transmission, exhaust pipes, drive shaft, rear axle, rubber tires. And you actually turn quite freely. Gas tank. Let's take a look and see. Uh, 76 Chevy G Series. And it's a little number. I'm not sure. If that's what number it was, as far as like how many they made, looks like it says 366 possibly above the Highway 61 logo. And I'm not sure if these are all numbered pieces. And then there's this other production number. Not sure what that what that is. But you know, it's got running boards. The fit and finish on this is really. Excellent and super detailed. Of 
quite a heavy piece. You can see it's got a bunch of detail on the ceiling inside. So but just trying to give you guys a good shot of the interior you can there you can see like the bed and the pillows. Interior. The roof of the interior. So yeah, really super detailed piece. This is again this is Highway 61, a 118th scale Chevy van. And there's quite a few of these uh, versions. Uh, these uh, these go for quite a bit of money on eBay. Um, the older ones, the ones that are out of print, uh, I'm not sure how many they were, were released, but there's quite a few. There's a, a keep on truck in one with kind of like a Grateful Dead type scene on it. I think there's one called, uh, I'm not really sure, but it's all black and it has like a, like a Viking warrior riding a horse with an axe. I forget the name of what that one is called. That one is uh, super popular and goes for... I've seen these vans go for like five, $600 on eBay, or at least that's the, the asking price on them. <clears throat> but you could find these newer ones for about $100. Uh, before this orange one, uh, there was a black one that was released it was just all black and I didn't pick that one up because they are expensive and I just thought the black one was a little bit too plain for my taste but I like this bright orange with all the different 70s style stripes on it um, but yeah super detailed piece very uh, very detailed and uh, comes with a bunch of extra stuff so, I think right here is where the antenna would go. Kind of like a CB style antenna, I believe. So, but yeah, some uh, little pieces to lose. But yeah, that's it for uh, this video. Just wanted to give you guys a tour of this uh, Highway 61 118 scale custom van. Uh, look for, check them out on uh, eBay and Amazon and other places on the internet. Check out uh, greenlight.com, greenlightcollectibles.com, and you may be able to find a vendor that sells sells these, or check out SC Diecast. And uh, I have another one of these already in my collection, so I'll probably do a separate spotlight video on that particular one or version in the future, and if I collect a few more, uh, I would like to get more of these, but like I said, they are really expensive, so. And I will be uh, featuring some other larger scale diecast on my YouTube channel and I'll just create a uh, playlist for that uh, based on what scale it is and I'll be showing some more of those from time to time alright guys that's it for this video if you enjoyed it don't forget to give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to check out my Facebook page that van guy thanks for watching guys I appreciate it have a great day